field today we're doing two nfl player props here on price picks for monday september 23rd you guys we got two monday night football games we got jags versus buffalo uh Bengals versus washington commanders before i get started guys link in the description below hop into the premium discord nine dollars and thirty cents per month 31 cents per day that is where I post all the plays i'm making on price picks we have other capitals in there as well overall you guys super positive community you got a cash app giveaway going on right now in the discord so again link in the description below nine dollars and thirty cents per month I also mentioned I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. This is simply just the plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here. But let's get into it, you guys. Okay, so I got two player props, one player prop from each game um, on this Monday Night Football slate. Let's not waste any time, guys. Let's just get right into it. So the first one I'm looking at is going to be Christian Kirk, over 41.5 receiving yards. Just right off the bat, because I do think this line will bump, I would play this up to 43.5 um, on the over. And again, if you don't like this, I would also pivot to, to fantasy score here as well. But Christian Kirk, over 41 and a half receiving yards. I think this is an absolute buy low here. Again, not a great start to the season. I had minus one receiving yards against Cleveland and 30 receiving yards here against Miami to start the season. But if we take a look at is Christian Kirk, it's not like his workload has really changed. Um, and them being five and a half point road favorites here in Buffalo, I'm expecting the, the Jags to have to throw the ball a ton. And Christian Kirk should be the main beneficiary of this. Again, there continues to be no Evan Ingram here as well, um, which makes Christian Kirk's role in this slot, you know, low A dot type of passes, check downs to him, um, you know, should be pretty attainable. But let's just look, go back to, let's go back to tw last season, just last season alone, right? We look at Christian Kirk um, over on Outlier really quick. So over, he's listed at 43 and a half on books, just right off the bat, 43 and a half. Like I said, I'll play this up to 44 and a half. But at 43 and a half, he's over this line in 10 of 12 games last season. 10 of 12 games last season, Christian Kirk was over on this line. So we're talking about a player that had an 83% hit rate in the 12 games he played last season. And because two games this season, he's, you know, hasn't played well, we're getting this type of line. But more specifically, if we go back and we look, we look at a, a Christian Kirk's receptions line, it's set at three and a half, juiced on the over pretty high. I mean, he's at minus 140 on bet 365, minus 159, minus 143, um, over three and a half catches. If we look at Christian Kirk last season, when he caught the ball at least four times, he was over this line in every single game. Um, actually, he was over this line, like I said, at two games with only three catches. Um, but again, four catches for Christian Kirk. I mean, he should be very, very close to 41 and a half receiving yards, which is why I'm taking his receiving yards. Um, again, I do like his fantasy score here as well. But also, if you take a look at kind of the role Christian Clerk plays, he obviously plays so much in the slot. It's, you know, 73.6% of the plays are out of the slot. And if we look at wide receivers game long this season, specifically just versus the Bills, um, obviously the Mar the sorry, not the Marlins, the Dolphins uh, offense is a little bit skewed with Tua coming out in that uh, third quarter and, you know, him throwing two picks. That was just a horrible game. But Greg Dortch had uh, six catches for 47 receiving yards against the uh, Buffalo Bills because they like to play two high safeties similar to a ton of teams in the NFL now. They love to play those two high safeties to limit the big plays. I think you know the Chiefs and Tyreek Hill kind of made NFL defenses play that way. But uh, he had six catches for 47 yards. And if we look at Greg Dorch, he plays 78.3% of the times out of the slot. And like I said, Christian Kirk plays 73.6. Um, so the slot is a, you know, a spot to target. We know they like to uh, limit the big plays the Buffalo Bills do, and Gabe Davis is really just a big play, play, big play type of wide receiver, similar to Brian Thomas here as well. Um, overall, I just think it's an elite buy low for Christian Kirk. I mean, we're talking about a guy, like I said, last season, uh, if we go to his receiving yards prop, let me go back to this here. Last season, over in 10 of 12 games, averaged about 65.58 receiving yards per game last season. Even if we go back to, uh, again, there's a link in the description, um, you can get a seven-day free trial on Outlier. But even if we go back to, uh, you know, 2022 for Christian Kirk, I mean, you can see the hit rate here as well for him. And, uh, you know, pretty much that's why I'm taking, uh, sorry, receiving yards over fantasy score, for example. Like, he hit his receiving yards in every game. He hit his fantasy score line, which is at nine, right, except for one when he scored a touchdown. But the, just the receiving upside for him here in, in, in a game that he's probably going to be an underdog, um, I think it's a buy low. And again, I would put this up to 44 and a half receiving yards. Um, but before we get into the second play, you guys, I want to talk about Daily Grind Fantasy. Daily Grind is a research betting tool, DFS optimizer. They've got the DFS middling tool, fantasy scores tool, and the uh, AI slip generator. This is a tool that I do use every single day, you guys. There's a link in the description. You get promo code TUFF. 
25% off your first month. But what they do is the hard work for you. Like for example, if you're on esports, right? These are the best plays. 57.49% odds to hit would be Levi under five and a half maps one to two. Um, again, if you're on esports, but again, they have every single sport that's currently on Price Fix board. They have it on the DFS optimizer over on Daily Grind Fantasy. But if you look at NFL right now, like the top play for these Monday Night Football slate would be Jalen Daniels under 19 fantasy score. Because these books here, DraftKings, Caesars, uh, uh, BetMGM, they don't have fantasy score lines on their books. So what they do is they take what their, you know, past yards, past CDs lines would be, and they give them what their fantasy score line would be on these books, which again, 60.9 is what it would be on DraftKings. It's at 19 on uh, price picks, giving this essentially 53.67 odds to hit the under, just showing these type of discrepancies um, on the board. And again, there's a ton of discrepancies on the board all the time. Um, with sports books and price picks and things like that. So, again, there's a link in the description using promo code TFF, uh, 25% off your first month. But let's get into the second play here. Again, first play is Christian Kirk over 41 and a half receiving yards. Second play is going to be a, a NFL first half line. NFL first half. I'm going fantasy score. And QB fantasy score is first half being good to us. I like Joe Burrow over nine. Um, it's just an elite matchup at home. Seven point favorites, you know. Not, I don't think this will be a super high scoring game, but I think the Bengals will get there specifically in the first half. I think Joe Burrow should see four to five offensive drives, which should be more than enough to clear this line here. He's coming off a pretty good game um, last week against Kansas City. I think it's actually draft games. He finished with 18.2 fantasy, and now he's getting T. Higgins back. Um, we look at you know how quarterbacks have fared this season against Washington. Uh, we saw Baker Mayfield go for 29.5 fantasy. And last week, Daniel Jones, 18.3. Um, this season, Commanders are giving up the most fantasy, or going back to last season, the Commanders gave up the most fantasy points to quarterbacks, and it hasn't changed this season, um, like at all. They gave up 26.2 fantasy points to quarterbacks. All we need is 9.1 here from Joe Burrow. Um, I think even if you go back to last season and you look at these type of quarterback fantasy score totals that they did finish with, um, I mean, we saw one, two, three. 10 different quarterbacks finish with 20 plus fantasy points here against the commanders their secondary is just horrible and i think now with joe burrow getting his full offensive kind of uh team back together with t higgins coming back jamar chase kind of getting back after he didn't practice all preseason um and then they don't really have a dominant bell cow running back i know that there's zach moss but it's not like they just feed him a ton of touches right i think at joe burrow should be just in prime position to rack up these fantasy score points especially in the first half um, if we look at kind of what that line would look like, I mean, 150 passing yards and a passing touchdown um, would put him at 10. Again, we only need nine, so let's just give, for example, like if he did 126, or sorry, 126 passing yards and a touchdown, that would put 9.04, so that would clear this line. So literally 126 passing yards and one passing touchdown would clear the over on this nine first half fantasy score line for Joe Burrow. So again, check out the links in the description below, premium Discord. Uh, Daily Grand Fantasy, you guys. Research betting tool I use every single day. Link in the description. Promo code TOFF. Please drop a like. It does subscribe button. And as always, let's cash.